Okay, this will be the last uh, uh, update of the day. Uh, where are we with the weather? First off, uh, Sandy has now evolved from a hurricane to a winter-like storm with occasional wind, gusts, and uh, drizzling rain. The storm is centered now over Pittsburgh, where its winds have dropped to about 10 miles per hour. So you can see it's dropped off quite a bit. Overnight, we expect get gusts will increase to 20 to 25 miles an hour as Sandy bumps into a cold front, a cold low front, and shifts its direction from uh, northeast towards uh, Rochester, New York. While some smaller rivers and streams across the Commonwealth have been issued flood warnings, Sandy did not cause any major flooding. Uh, our impact so far, as we said earlier, uh, we've had a lot of people lose power, and, but our numbers are going down a little bit. Uh, we've, uh, we have people with about 1.1 million uh, customers without electricity right now. That's down from 1.25 million. We've received reports of two additional deaths believed to be associated with the storm, bringing the total to five. We do have shelters out there. We are getting reports that the Red Cross is closing some of the shelters because the need has now ha passed for those shelters. As of our la last report, there are 45 shelters open in the state. 33 of them are Red Cross shelters. There are 449 people availing themselves of the Red Cross shelters at the moment, down from 923 at our noontime briefing. Earlier today, I mentioned two mega shelters and the, uh, at uh, uh, Kutztown, excuse me, not Kutztown, East Stroudsburg and at Westchester. Uh, since that briefing, we've learned that New Jersey and New York officials believe now that they have sufficient shelter in their own states to handle these evacuees. So we're not expecting any out-of-state evacuees at this point in time, but we will keep the centers uh, on standby and be ready if it is needed. The East Stroudsburg shelter is being used for residents in Monroe County who have been told that they may be without power for a period of time. As you saw, we just went out to the Gap to see how our response is going from the National Guard, and we saw those preparations firsthand. Uh, Pima continues to coordinate communications and response activities with the counties uh, across the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, at the Gap and around the state, we have nearly 2,100 National Guard troops uh, deployed. Uh, the Guard is primarily located in southeastern and central Pennsylvania. Uh, as you saw, if you went along with us on the trip, uh, they were unloading uh, big uh, truckloads of water, uh, food, and other items helping to set up shelters, delivering cots and, uh, and food to the shelters that are in the southeast and uh, south central part of the state, setting up sandbags if any are needed and where they're needed. The Guard, as uh, the general would tell you, was assigned 36 missions. 14 of those missions were completed. Seven are still to be uh, executed. Four are in a very active state as we speak. And 11 of those missions that which were really requests were canceled as they were no longer necessary. SEPTA and Amtrak are slowly restarting their routes uh, in their service area. So if you need information about your specific route, you should contact uh, those agencies directly. If you have a flight out of Philadelphia, you should check the status of your flight with your airline. And I would say that would be the case out of any uh, airport here in Pennsylvania. Uh, be aware that there are, there are about 400 secondary roads and bridges still closed throughout the state, mostly, again, because of downed trees, downed utilities, and some by flooding. For information on the local roads, stay tuned to your local news. Motorists can check, though, on state roads and the conditions by calling 511 or visiting www.511pa.com. You can stay updated again by going to our website, www.pa.gov.